Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Flame Leone 2300 here, and we're back with another unboxing for you guys today. But it's gonna be a little different. Uh, if you guys probably saw the thumbnail or uh, saw the picture that I posted on Instagram, uh, you kind of saw that I got this package here um, not too long ago, and it is not a Beyblade product. However, it's something a little bit similar to a Beyblade product. Now, this I thought was actually very cool to actually unbox again because I did have one of these back in the past, and I'll show you. And I think the time this product came out was probably when uh, Zero G just probably ended and Beyblade was probably in hiatus again, and we we're just wondering, okay, when was the next series gonna come until Beyblade burst? So, uh, what we have in this box is not just one, not two, but three things. All right, so I actually have it unboxed already uh, here because uh, first I wanted to make sure everything's good, everything's clear, and it's three products in one. So uh, what we have here, I'm going to open the box here, are do, 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 do. trying to get them out. Some of you guys might know this, what this is, some of you guys might not, but we have top plate products, yeah! So, uh, this was something that we, not we, but like, uh, came out a long time ago, which are these top plate products here. Um, now, like I said, these products came out where I believe that, uh, Beyblade was hi in hiatus, and people were speculating, oh, this is probably the new, uh, Beyblade line that was coming out called Top Plate, but it wasn't really a Beyblade thing, just everyone assumed it was kind of a... Beyblade product and we call the Beyblade top plate instead of just top plate itself but no um this is a different product it's called top plate and this is actually one that Sonokong I believe made by themselves they didn't have Takara Tomi's help um I believe there was like a little dispute or something that happened between the two and they decided to okay we're gonna make our own product which is top plate here and it's actually pretty interesting uh, how this product works so I do have this one which I believe is uh, did Hydra not too sure about um, the name of it, but as you guys can see here This is how basically a top plate looks like kind of the same format, but a little bit different uh, Like you have the energy ring, which is also comes something different the metal wheel Right, and then you have like this thing which is called the spin core And then you have this part here on the bottom, which is called the binding Which is pretty awesome and what I do like about this and I'll probably show you in a sec now this is how the winders look pretty nice and actually has a good handling here because of this part here you can just put your finger in and just pull it but what you actually do with these you actually put it in this piece here with a spin core see if i can have it focus where the spin core is put it in the middle like this and bam you have it just like this now and then you let it rip you hold it and let it rip or depending if you have this piece here which i do have um, because I got it with like a starter kit uh, from it you actually hold and clamp on and then you use it which I thought was pretty cool um, to have this you know as a product and it's also another thing this also goes left and right spin so you can put it either way uh, to left spin it or right spin it and then from there you just you know and it just goes like that pretty cool you know so I thought like overall the product on the way they made it was pretty neat you know it was really uh, something even if it shows here on two as well. There's also this other part. Oh, I dropped the uh, baby or the top plate. Uh, but there's this part that you put on your wrist, or you hold in your hand, and you shoot it uh, in the stadium, which is pretty cool. I do have the piece, however, I don't remember where I actually put the piece. <laughs> I have to probably find it, or maybe when we actually do the test launch, uh, we'll uh, do it with the uh, thing too as well. But enough of that. Uh, let's actually get to the unboxing. So I am not going to actually unbox all three at once because that would be a little bit too long of a video. Uh, but what I'll be doing is unbox one and then I'll do one every week um, so for the next two weeks. And a good way I thought to decide uh, how we're going to actually unbox this, I'm going to roll a die here. And whatever number it lands on, that's what we're going to get. So Wing Falcon is going to have to be one and two. Um, Stiletto G will be three and four. And then Poison Scorpio will be five and six. And then that will go from there. Ready? Let's see. We got six. So it looks like we got poor Poison Scorpion that we're going to be unboxing for today. So let's actually take these two guys out. We'll see you guys uh, next time in the random uh, unboxing for them. <laughs> 
All right, so let's actually get to the dial too. So we have Poison Scorpion that we're gonna be unboxing today. And this actually, when looking at it, this is actually probably the first one I did want to unbox anyway, is Poison Scorpion. So how lucky that we actually rolled it and got the number. So as you guys see here, um, this is Poison Scorpion. Uh, this is the, uh, I would say blader um, that actually owns Poison Scorpion here. This is a girl. Uh, I believe there's also elements too. That's why you guys can see like there's a fire element. I believe um, Wing Falcon's like a, a wing element, and I think Saleto is a dark element. Not too sure because I never even watched the anime myself. I just know you know uh, certain things about this. All right, so here's the front of the box. As you can see, it's a Sonokong, um or Sonokong, however you want to pronounce it. Um, and then on the top here, kind of shows like the action where you can put the thing on your wrist. Which I do have, I just like I said, I gotta find it. And you just shoot it in and you um, get the action there. And it says top plate. Don't know what this part says, but just says top plate, which I'm good enough with that. And as you can see here, it also clarifies that it's also left spin and right spin too as well. Just pretty cool. And look, this was made all the way back then in 2013. That is crazy. It's top plate production committee. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So let's take a look at the sides. Um, here, as you guys can see, that show talks about a little bit of the winder and how you can actually hold in place the winder. That I actually didn't know, which is fine. <laughs> didn't know that you can actually hold the place in, the winder in place uh, somehow. Looks really nice. And then this also turns here, so you know you have any way that you can hold on to it. And it shows that you can put actually all five fingers for the full grip and the full force into actually ripping it. Then we have the other side. Uh, I guess this talks about the spinning core or like the performance tip a little bit here on how it works. It looks pretty cool. And then let's take a look at the back because this is going to actually help you uh, understand things. And what I do like is that it actually has everything in English here on what each part is. So as you guys can see here, uh, let's take a look at the part, which is the first part is the head, which is... Uh, Similar to like a face bolt, if you want to say. That's how uh, the head looks like. It's more like a circular um, circular face bolt than just like the, what do you call it, hexagon uh, face, bolt, face bolts for uh, the Metal Fight series. Or even stone faces. Uh, then you have the clear top, which is like the metal wheel. Not the metal wheel, uh, the energy ring. Energy ring, that's what I meant to say. And then you have the metal wheel, which is, you know, the metal wheel. Same thing as any other metal wheel you get in the metal fight. Then you have this thing called binding. Now, this is the part that actually keeps everything together. Uh, so this is actually very important. You could think of this like um, the weight disc or like the tr like the track, I would say, of some sort. And then the last part you have here is the spinning core, which is like the driver or, you know, the tip, uh, however you guys want to say it too. Awesome. It looks pretty cool. And it shows you like a little thing here on how you should be launching you just hold it and launch it but it's better off to get that clamp thing which honestly i don't know where you can find that anymore um and i didn't even tell you guys how i got this i actually got this on uh, ebay uh the whole thing for 30 dollars, which really is not bad it's like 10 dollars for each of these things and i'm probably gonna try to find more uh because you know i think these are also pretty cool too uh just to have and just to show i'll probably do battles with these two uh these guys too as well so let's get my trusty uh, opener, which is the knife here. Get the knife to open this. So let's see, I want to make sure if there's a clear way how to open this. Yeah, so I'll open it from the side here. You know, I want to still see if I can keep these boxes. Let's see if I can get this open. It has a little bit more of a thicker tape than anything. Just trying to look around to see how I can open this. Let's see. I want to go in the box. There we go. I think I got it open. Let's see. Did I? Nope. I didn't get it open. All right. There we go. Now we got it open. Okay. Now let's open this bad boy up. All right. There we go. And bam. All right. So there's nothing else in the box here. That's pretty much uh, everything that was in the box. Is this piece here. And as you can see here, this is the uh, like the rip cord. As you guys can see, you can even hold it like this or put it in like this, so it stays nice and locked. It's pretty cool. 
All right, it's a little bit bent, but of course, you just got to straighten it out. And I even think they said uh, in the manual is to straighten out the ripcord for maximum power too, which that's pretty cool. All right, let's get everything else out. So here is the stickers, instructions, and the full Beyblade part itself. Wow, this is from 2013, guys. 2013, and we're unboxing this. That is crazy. So before we get to this part here, let's actually look at everything else here. So these are the stickers here, uh, which I actually do like is that you really don't necessarily need stickers for the Beyblade. Uh, this is actually for the ripcord itself. So that's actually pretty cool. So this is the only thing you really need to get. And then we have the instruction guide here. So let's open this up a little bit. Alrighty, and let's see which way. Okay, there we go. So here is the front part of the instruction guide. As you guys can see, kind of shows how to assemble the top plate, uh, every part that it has, and how to hold it and uh, rip it from there too as well. Looks pretty cool. And then if you look at the back, all right, it even talks about the stadium, not the stadium. Uh, this is how it looks like here. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the B50 wide stadium. Uh, and then if you guys see these lines here, um, this is kind of where you do the shoot area. So you have this thing here, which I also forgot uh, to get to as well. I'll probably find it when we actually do the launching. Uh, but you actually have this thing uh, where you can actually shoot back at the bay or like knock the bay into the other opponent's bay and try to knock them out which is pretty cool all right it's this thing right here if you guys can see probably zoom in a little bit yes yeah, this thing right here or this part here uh you pull back and let it go and actually hits the beyblade and that beyblade can or that uh part can actually be used to hit your opponent's beyblade which i thought that was pretty cool you guys can see here this is how like the whole setup it works and then how you can actually put it on the wrist part too as well and then how you shoot in stadium, how you're supposed to hold it. See, you put it on the wrist part here, the babe, oh, babe lead, on the top plate, and then you shoot it out like that, which is pretty cool. And then again, it shows the whole babe lead itself with the bleeder. I'm going to say babe lead a lot, but it's top plate. Looks pretty awesome. Okay, so with that being said, let's actually get into the uh, top plate itself here. So... Let's see if I remember how to uh, put this together because it's been so long since I even used um, Hydra over there. Trying to see where I can actually open this. Let's see what I mean here. It's just like some really hard plastic to actually get these things out. Alright, so we got the metal wheel out. Oh, it actually feels very beefy. It's hollow, but it actually feels very beefy and very wide. It's pretty cool. All right, then we get the next part. Let's see. Trying to get it out here, so bear with me, guys. <laughs> All right. Oh, and one piece just fell. All right. Let's get the rest of the piece out, and let's get the entry. All right. There we go, guys. All right. So we got everything out here. Okay. So let's look at each piece one by one and then we'll get into the actual put together here. So this is the um, top piece here. What do they call this one more time? Oh, the head. So this is just the head. As you can see, this is a uh, Poison Scorpion's uh, kind of logo here. It looks pretty nice. Has that S shape so you guys can see it. Pretty cool. All right. And then we have the head, no, not the head, the, the clear top, which this is like the energy ring. You guys can see this kind of represents a scorpion. Trying to, there we go. Trying to make sure it actually uh, focuses here because it kind of sees so much of the background. It doesn't really focus on what's in front of it. A little bit weird. All right, but that's the um, it's a clear top. Pretty cool. All right. Then we move on to the metal wheel. 
looks pretty nice, pretty cool. It's pretty beefy, as you guys can see. And it still has that little scorpion-like tail uh, design here, which is pretty cool. Like I said before, this is also like a little bit hollow here. But that's fine because this, this is actually the part where the binding is going to get in anyway. And then here's the binding here. Nothing too special. I think every binding is the same, just a different color here uh, for the thing. And then we got the last part, which is the uh, running core. So you guys can see. And it kind of spins here. I thought this was rubber, but it's actually not. It kind of feels like hard rubber. No, it's it's plastic. It's not hard rubber. This is kind of the tip how it looks. I think it looks more as a star shape. So you can think of it like um, the RF. Or not RF, like R2F. That's what I meant to say. But just plastic instead of um, rubber. Which is pretty nice. Okay. So now let's get to actually putting all this together. Let's see if I can do this in one shot. Because I don't remember how this works here. Alright, so we got that that in. Let's see about the running core. I'm gonna make sure I try to get this perfectly. Don't really mess up here. I'm trying to see. The weird thing about the running core, another running core, the binding, it doesn't like lock into place. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. And I don't think it goes this way either. So let's see, maybe if I do this, one, try to see if this locks into place. Oh, good old top plate, right? <laughs> hmm. I don't want to break anything either. That's my other concern, just to make sure I don't break anything. doesn't want to lock in let's see hold up sorry for technical difficulties guys <laughs> want to see how this uh actually gets locked in one more time okay so that's one set two yeah set three ready put together it's fine yeah it's telling me to do exactly what i just did but i don't know so I did this right, it says you literally put this together. Okay, I think we got that part there. Hold up. Huh. This is something. <laughs> Maybe if you guys want to skip a uh, part of this video, I recommend that so we can actually get this done in here. Or if anything, I might just jump skip the video uh, for you guys. Or if you guys want to just see me struggle in this, then be my guest. How exactly does this go in? Oh, goodness gracious. This shouldn't be so hard to do. I know you have to also use this tool here, but... I'm trying to make sure it like, gets in, but it doesn't want to get in. All right, so you know what I'll do? I'll actually uh, resume back the video when I actually get this done. So just give me one second, guys. All right, guys. So now we are back and we finally got this thing on together. Holy cow. Um, it wasn't as hard as I thought to get it on, but just my mind and how, um, you know, working with the Metal Fight series for so long uh, just made it harder for me to actually comprehend what I was supposed to get uh, to do to get this on together. So apparently, in order to put this together, um, you have to have the first three parts. So like the um, energy ring or the, what do you call it, head top, um, the clear top, I mean, uh, the head and the metal wheel put together first. And then you have to put the binding and running cord in second uh, together. And then apparently, instead of twisting the uh, head you actually have to twist the binding cord and just turn it around to actually put it together. So it's like doing the opposite of what you're supposed to be doing uh, in a metal fight series, which is pretty strange and pretty weird. But 
we finally got it done. We finally got uh, this together, which also looks really nice. It looks really nice. I do like the uh, red aesthetics on it, or kind of like red orange a little bit. Uh, it honestly looks very nice as the top plate, not a bay blade, but a, you know, overall, it just really looks nice as design wise. And also, uh, in the middle of doing that too, as well, I did find the uh, other two parts I was talking about. Uh, as you guys can see here, this is the part here that you have your top plate running and just goes on top and then you can just shoot it in with your hand it's supposed to go like this like that as you guys can see and it's pretty tight um you can't really push it all the way back or it's going to really start hurting your hands but even here it feels a little bit uh weird and uncomfortable i believe i saw actually they made a new redesign uh this later on in the series uh, where you actually use one finger instead of using your whole hand uh, to hold it like this. But I do like this one better because apparently this one's bigger than the other one. So, uh, you know, it's a give or take kind of thing. And then we also have this part here. This is the part that you use to kind of pull back and hit the top plate so it can launch into the uh, other top plates too as well. So it's pretty cool overall. So let's actually do like a hand spin test here. And then what we're going to do... Uh, we're going to bring it into the stadium, Beyblade Stadium of some sort, and kind of test it out there too as well. So let me actually do this. Let me actually take this off because it does interfere when you're going to rip it. I'm going to put uh, Poison Scorpion right here on the grip so you guys can see. And I'm going to do my best to rip it because, again, I am sitting in a weird, a really weird angle doing this unboxing. So it feels very uncomfortable to do this. And one slip up, I can actually bump into the camera. So you guys can see, have it here. And then we just hold it like this and we rip it. All right, that's how it looks. That's pretty cool. As you guys can see. And it just keeps on going. Be hypnotized by Poison Scorpio. <laughs> that's pretty cool. And like I said, you can also use this on the lefty side too. So as you guys can see here, a little bit how it has two uh, openings right there. All right, you can also put this on the other side and then it goes to a lefty side. So that's pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of how HMS did both left and right spin uh, on all their Beyblades. So I think that's actually pretty cool too as well. And it gives it more, uh, you know, kind of a gameplay to it. Let me see, I'm gonna try to launch it too on this one. It's like it's stuck for some reason, so I don't know why. They pull it in way too much. Oh no, I kinda ruined the top plate, guys. I ruined the top plate. It's it's honestly stuck. It's stuck it's stuck, guys. I can't get it out. Oh no, what did I do? Let's see, okay. I, I kind of rewind I rewind it here. Oh, doing this off. All right, there we go. Yeah, there we go. So I can't pull it too far or apparently it gets stuck like that. But it's pretty cool overall, guys can see. And you can actually do tricks with this. You can actually hold it in your hand and have it spin. Because what's cool about this, since the running core is also uh, free spinning here, you can actually just have it on your hand and just start balancing uh by itself like that which is pretty dope it's pretty cool overall so yeah so now let's actually uh take this top plate to one of the uh beyblade stadiums and let's see how it works there Alrighty guys, so I know I said we we're going to go into the Beyblade Stadiums to give it a test run, but what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to actually show Poison Scorpion uh, being on this right now, which is kind of like the uh, grip or like, you know, the launcher that you can actually push uh, Poison Scorpion into the stadium with. So basically what you're going to do, you have the little clamper slash grip here uh, to hold Poison Scorpion, and then you just put the rip cord in Poison Scorpion like this, and let it launch, and let it rip, and then you just put uh, Poison Scorpion on here, and as you guys can see, it's balancing just like that and this is actually pretty cool you can do actually pretty interesting things with this you can have it circle around just like that you can even go like this a little bit let it balance see how long you can actually do this right which i thought is actually a pretty cool technique and then when you're ready you can actually just launch it forward like that boom just like that and i kind of launched it on my bed just to make sure it has like a safe landing or anything so it's actually pretty cool it's actually pretty interesting uh how this piece works and then overall how Soda Kong implemented all these pieces together 
um, in the top plate. And it gives actually the blader, whoever's ripping the top plate, a little bit more of a purpose rather than just letting it rip and just sitting there not doing anything. So we're going to actually, you know, showcase a little bit even in the um, stadiums, you know, how it is actually can work with all these pieces and stuff. So without further ado, let's get that started. Alrighty guys, so now we're going to give uh, Poison Scorpion a test run in these stadiums this time. Uh, what I do have here are three different types of stadiums. So I have the HMS Tornado Balance Stadium that we're going to give it a test run in. In the B-50 Wide Stadium. And then we also have the Beyblade Extreme Top Stadium too as well. All the way from the Metal Fury uh, series. So we're going to give it a test run. Uh, I'm also going to give a test run on how to actually launch the um, the top plate with the whole handling on my hand too as well the only one i can't really do it in is this but i will kind of give it a try since it has a big a big open spot here i'll also give it a try and see that happens all right so we're gonna first do it without the um the handling and then we'll do it with the handling afterwards all right so let me actually move this to the side let's get this stadium up first here so you guys can see it all right let me actually move up scooch up a little bit all right, there we go. So let's actually get Poison Scorpion in the grip here. All right, just like that. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Let it rip. And you guys can probably see that Poison Scorpion is more of an attack type here uh, because how the running core slash tip is designed. All right. Like I said, it's more like an R2F, uh, except it's plastic, not rubber. The whole way out. And you can see there. Um, there's Poison Scorpion just now, just losing in the middle, right, staying balanced in the middle, just like that. Okay, we also have this part here too, which you can actually use to knock, uh, the top plate out and to attack the other people. So say for instance, we try to do here, right, it kind of pushes away. The only thing I don't like about it though, as you guys can see there, it kind of makes the, uh, top plate a little bit unbalanced. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the stadium, how little slopey it is. Uh, rather than the actual top plate stadium, but you know, you can see it just gets a little bit off balance Okay, so now let's actually try it with this part here. I'll do very very best to launch it in uh, But we're gonna try and hopefully I actually get it on camera where you can see my hand a little bit launching it in And let's do this just for safekeeping. I'm gonna turn the stadium around like that uh, Just in case you know it knocks into this wall here and it doesn't fall off All right, so ready? Three, two, one, let it rip. Okay, got it on here, as you guys can see. And, oh, shit, it, not, it bounced all the way. Oh my gosh, I didn't really expect that to happen. It just, boom, boom, bounced out. All right, let's try it one more time. We'll do it one more time uh, from here. All right, so let's see. Get it on there. All right, let it rip. And it just knocked out of my hand. Oh my gosh, this is not going so well. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. Trying to do my best here. Okay. All right, let's try it one more time. Okay, got it on there, and... All right, there we go. So, I did not knock it so hard uh, when I was doing it. I just did a little light tap, and as you guys can see, uh, you can do that. You can push it back in. Now, what you can also do in your own side, like I said, you can use a clamper here to actually clamp on. You can get it. Put it back on here. And then do it again and knock it into your opponent's uh, top plate again, which is very interesting. So it's very cool overall. Let's actually move it into the B50 stadium now. So let's get that right here. So you guys can see this is the B50 wide stadium. All right, we'll do the same thing. We'll do it one without the uh, thing here and then one with it. And we'll launch with it. All right, so let's give it a shot. Ready? Three, two, one. Let it rip. Now has a lot more space to actually get a little bit crazy, a little bit wild here. And actually do things. Alright, pretty cool. Okay, now let's do it with the uh, thing here that I have. The launcher. I don't know what you call this. It's a plastic piece that launches in. I really don't know what you call this. I know it has a name, but I just don't remember what it's called. Alright, so I have it on my hand here. And let's go. And I missed. Don't worry, it's still spinning, so we'll do it again. Let's uh, go. There we go. That was horrible. <laughs> I tried my best. I just like did a little lit and it just went down. All right, let's do it one more time. <laughs> Some of you guys who are, whoever's watching is probably laughing on how this is working right now. This is not easy stuff. 
I'll tell you that much. Especially it's been like years since I used this piece. Alright, let's try it again. Ready? One, two, three, launch. And there we go. We got it in there, boys. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, and let's do it one uh, last test run. Now in the extreme top system. Uh, base stadium this time. Let me actually get it because it's really far. Uh, there we go. Got it. Alright. There we go. So this is the stadium now. And I'm actually going to use this too as well to kind of demonstrate uh, with you guys here how that works still. Ready? Let's try it again. 3, 2, 1. Let it rip. Okay. Let's say for instance we got this. Let's see if we can move it around. There we go. And it just goes from one end to the other. And I think also, uh, later on in Top Play, they did upgrade this piece too. Uh, they upgraded this piece to actually make it a lot easier for this part to actually be hit. Uh, I believe there's like different um, sizes and different uh, ways how this should shape. Like one is a circle, one is like a star or like a plus sign of some sort uh, to actually make it easier for to hit the Top plate, which is pretty cool overall. All right, let's try this one more time with this piece. Let's see if this actually uh, lands in the stadium, or we actually get a perfect run here. So, let me see. Let me lock into place. All right, there we go. Three, two, one. Let it rip. All right, we got it here. Let's see, let's see. We can't mess this up. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. We got it. We got it. <laughs> All right, can we do it one more time? Let's see if it's spinning. And launch it in. All right, and there we go. Pretty cool overall, I gotta say myself, on how Top Plate works. Like I said, it's not like Beyblade. It's a completely different thing uh, on its own, but it kind of acts like a Beyblade. And like I said, a lot of things that were given or, you know, that you can actually use in the product uh, line for Top Plate is actually very interesting because you gave, it gives the blader a lot more to do rather than just, you know, letting it rip and just hopefully by chance winning or not. So it's pretty interesting, pretty cool all around. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, right? This is a review of Poison Scorpion here, which is pretty cool. Uh, maybe if you guys look around, you guys can also get your own top plate, but it's very hard to find now since this was a 2013 product, but you can still find it if I found it uh, as well. So please make sure uh, you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram, join my Discord, I'll leave all the links down below. And one more thing, just before you guys go, uh, I am going to go back into doing battle videos again. So I know it's been so long, we've been just doing reviews, 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 but no, we're going to be going into battle videos. And then for the other two top plates, we'll actually unbox them once a week. So for next week, and then the following week afterward, uh, we'll get those two reviews out. But I do want to get some battles going, I know I had a lot of people request battles, and they've been pending and waiting. But now this is the chance we're going to go back into doing battles. Uh, hopefully I can do it downstairs with the lightings better. But if not, we're going to be in my room uh, for now just kind of making these videos here. So hopefully that doesn't bother you guys as much. Uh, because I know you know the lighting's a little bit different uh, rather than I use it downstairs uh, in my room. But yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy those battle videos too as well. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of the day everyone. Take it easy.